Hey guys, welcome back to Daily Duel. So today is Tuesday, that means we are using one of the decks that was created for me to use. Uh, one of the Satella decks. So we are using Omega Chaos's uh, Rank Up Satella deck. So uh, let's, I'm not really sure how a lot of the players the Rank Up, but this hand doesn't look the best. You know, just to say, when this guy can be, can't be normal, someone said, when you know someone, you can special someone to cover your hand. Okay, so he's like, really? Oh my god, I don't want to duel against Infernities. Ah, uh, Infernities. Uh, you know, who wins the world and now everybody needs to play it. Um, so it's kind of like a Kagata Kage, except it has to be Warriors. Oh, okay. So I drew the Neb, so of course the Neb will be searching me for an awesome card. So I can exceed because I can go ahead and special summon the, the Butter Spy. But what should I see into? And if I have the effect, can I attack? Yeah. He still has cards in his hand, so I don't have to worry about anything like that, but... Yeah. Uh... He doesn't have a good effect. No, no, no. Uh, he doesn't rank up. Who, who ranks up? Who ranks up? You don't rank up. You rank up. Rank up. Okay, you rank up, of course. Uh, who do you rank up off of? 102. I apologize. I I don't I don't know. I don't know rank ups and stuff. So I'll go ahead and just summon. Yeah, probably not gonna rank up this turn. Go ahead and play some background. Oh yeah, I'll play that. You know, put some background, go ahead. So go ahead and summon you. And you, go ahead and give me Vega. So I can go Vega, Altair, and Deneb. Since I have Altairs, of course. Alright, and I'm gonna go for... You're not light? Oh, no, you're dark. Alright, I thought you were light. I was gonna go into something else, like Omega, but I... you're dark. Okay, well that doesn't help me. What do you say? Guard gains some attack, can't be strong in battle. I need three to be unaffected, so I would just summon him and just be a 3,000 beater. 101's not good, it's not the time to exit time, I'm up on resources. Yeah, I guess I'll go, go for this guy. Fuck it. I'm a 3,000 beater right now. God, I hate Infernity. Go ahead and play something. I know you got it. Mirror Force, yes. Someone actually plays Mirror Force still. Go ahead. Uh. So you got one arch fiend. You didn't open up that. Oh, that that. Infernity deck that one world like that's, that's super aggressive, you know, I was expecting to see a whole bunch of back row and the only back row is running were his four infernity cards Like okay <laughs> Didn't really see that coming This guy on the other hand he looks like he's playing classic infernity. He's not like you how your name is void like you know Infernities Ew I hate infernities. I, I hate infernities like if you guys know me, you know that I hate infernities with a passion Level chain. Diamond Dire. Diamond fucking Dire. You want to Diamond Dire my bottomless. Fuck it, I'll just use it. Because you're going to Diamond Dire it anyway. Fuck it. And let me guess, that's Necromancer in your hand? Oh, you already normal summon. Oh, no. You can special summon the Necromancer. No, it's just going to end. Okay. That's weird. I totally thought he was just going to be like, Oh, Stygian, but summon Necromancer. Necromancer, summon this back. Touch myself. Oh, finger myself. Oh, yeah, feel so good. Fucking. Mmm. I hate you. Frickin' Fernities. I wish that deck would die. And I hope it does die in this upcoming ban list. I can't wait. Make me giddy as a little schoolgirl. It's like, yay! Infernities are gonna die! Can't wait. Can't wait. Hit them hard. Hit them hard. Deck has existed for fucking how long? Deck has existed since Synchro era, and yet it won worlds. Like, 
That's not supposed to happen. So I know Konami is about to fucking flip their shit. Alright. I don't know who to go into. I can go into, into uh, you. I mean, no, legally I'm not allowed to go into you. Never mind. Because I'm trying to make this deck like a... An error occurs. Alright, an error fucking occurs. Wow, alright. Well, that's one way to freaking make it so you don't lose a duel. So I guess I'll go ahead and get another one and be right back. Alright, let's try this again. I'll go first. Oh, here's that trap card. Okay. So, I can send once till I monster control guard to get the activation of spell trap or monster back if I do draw a card. Uh but I'm like shit. I really don't want to commit to any of these cards, really. I'll just take the damage on the chin right now. I don't really feel like committing. I opened up like, ugh. That's what I'm worried about this deck. I'm worried about the consistency. And I got, I got a, I got this, but I got, it's, of course I got a Satellite like that I don't even want to use it on right now. This it can protect me when I summon. So I can go like, summon and then he'll, he'll run right into it. I can go like, summon and he'll go bottomless. Okay, chain factor. <laughs> go ahead and draw a card. So I don't mind drawing a card. But shit, if you're gonna hit me with background, I might as well get something out of it. So what the hell are you gonna make? You're gonna fucking make a uh, first turn quite arm to see sit here and watch you finger yourself? Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. No. Alright, so if I set this and I summon this, I'll have four, then I can summon this, so. Yeah. Is the Volvo chain in here? Nope. Well, she was. Well, she was. So we don't have the same number, so now I can activate you. You know, you're like a glorified Kage to Kage, okay? So, yeah. How this is going to go down is going to do a couple duels with it, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll determine whether I've had enough of the deck or not, and then at the end of the video, I'll go ahead and do, like, a little quick pseudo-deck profile of the deck and say what I like, what I don't like, what I'll be considering, and stuff like that. Go ahead and take your horsey guy. What I don't like right now is that I have these two Constellar Factors, yeah, I mean, con Constellar Factors, Celestial Factor, and I have no frickin', uh... So tell us in sight. If there was, if, if, if Lava Chain was in here, I would have made Lava Chain put the Deneb on top and then rammed into him with my Lance. But that way I would draw into like the Deneb. Oh, I should have MST. Should have MST. Did not know I didn't MST. I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to think and I was thinking, I was like, wait, would I really start, or would I really put the Deneb on top? Yeah, yeah, I'll put the neb on top. Watch it be something chainable. God fucking damn it! See, that was all my fault. That was all my fault. That's what I get for not paying attention. So I just wasted fucking cards right there. Let me guess I'm not strong enough to run it over now, because I'm only 13. Yep. Oh, it's Ice Hand. Alright. Ah, that was all my fault. No one's fault but my own. Go ahead, come at me. I know you want to go some, turn ice hand, ice hand, pop, summon fire hand, fire hand, pop, summon ice hand, ice hand, pop, blah, 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 blah. I know that's what you want to do right now. Fucking deeper than a fucking lifesaver right now. But that was all my fault. All my fault. <laughs> if I would just MST done the end phase, I wouldn't even have to waste that lance. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. What the fuck? How about no? I didn't see that coming. Okay, I got another deep person. I don't mind the background. This deck has consistency issues. So I definitely level a chain. And I have a level of chain. Level of all chain, so. Honest, okay. That's not necessary right now. I'm gonna get the extra damage in. I'm up on resources, so I don't, I don't care if I reveal if I have honest. I want to get that extra damage in. Oh my god! Yep, here we go. Fire and dice hand. Go ahead. Start a guy like this. This. I feel like there's not enough to tell it tell a knight to be running this card. At least he popped that and didn't pop my D prison. I know what he's thinking, he's probably thinking I got a fire hand, ram, pop, I'll detach. Dest destroy this or this, then summon ice hand, ram, destroy you know, destroy another back room, then summon fire hand, ram, destroy this, summon ice hand, attack me directly. I don't know what he's planning on doing, he's probably just thinking. Oh, I won't go touch myself tour guide. Okay. Who are you gonna bring back him? I guess. If you want to. He's not a tuner, so I don't give a shit about him. I think he misplayed. I don't got any banished monsters, so I guess you're bringing back your little elephant, dude. Okay. What's he think that he could bring this back? You, you, kill you. Put you back in my hand. Set that. Go ahead. What the hell is in my graveyard to even call it haunted right now? Looks like just Altair. Okay. Ah. <sighs> So you want to take your frickin' fire hand and try to ram it into me already, or what? No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sinking to eight? Mm. Your point has uh, uh, Nah, that's fine. Yeah. Activating thing right now, fucking, fucking unicorn over here. It's being a dick. So, what? You're out of hands. That's cute. So I guess you only ran two of each. See, that's the reason why I don't run two of each. All right. Alright, 
I can activate Call of the Haunted, bring back Altair, summon Vega, XC into something, doesn't really matter. Um, just nothing that activates an effect, because I'll still have the same amount, and then I can go ahead and just summon them. Yeah, I'll go for Omega. Yeah, Omega sounds fine. I just gotta make sure that we don't have the same number of cards in our hand. Omega seems fine to me. I wonder if he has... I wonder if he has, like, Honest in his hand or something like that. That would suck ass if he has Honest in his hand. Then he can negate my Honest. Uh... You got the Honest? No. Okay. Good, at least I got Omega. So far he hasn't played much background, has he? I can't I can't really remember. I don't think so. Oh, he's played Phoenix. That's it. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. That was kind of anticlimactic. Oh, I can rank up. Ooh. Nope. Not liking the rank up. Not at all. Yeah. Yeah, this deck's not going to get a two-parter. After I win, either win or lose this duel, I'm going to go ahead and do the deck profile. That'll be it. I got the gist of the deck. Besides not knowing what a lot of the rank ups do. I'll get my explanation for everything. Hella monsters, I ain't getting none of them guys. I'd love to get some of them. But I'm not. Mega attack. Attack. Put it back. So that game. Are we done? So up on resources. Mm-hmm. 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 is that oh okay that's cute I can go ahead and rank up right Talk about them. yeah I can I can change and make a effect on himself, make him unaffected. That'd be terrible. A terrible idea. Alright, gimme. Well, at least I ranked up. <laughs> Yay, I won. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the deck. Go back. Alright, so here is Omega Chaos's deck. So, let me go over it. So. BLS, alright, I get it. I didn't know that this guy was dark, but now since I know that he's dark, I get it. BLS, sure. Of course, 3 Neb, 3 Altair, 3 Vega, alright. Uh, 
run two Uka. Uh, you know, I get Uka. You know, you go ahead and play Uka, send Deneb, and then bring it back with Call the Haunted. That's fine. Uh, I think to really bring out the power of Uka, I think maybe running, maybe where you're returning alive might be a good card. So I'm, I'm probably going to write that down and consider that. Um, Honest, because of course it's a light deck, but you know, honest isn't necessary. It's not completely necessary. It, like, you saw in that last duel, it really didn't help me. All I was using it was doing as a as a beater, but you know, honest really doesn't bring a lot to the table, so it's fine. Uh, you know, I get this. This is not only a like kind of like a Kagetakagi and also a dark, but it's also a warrior, so you can go ahead and go into your warrior esque plays. So I get that. And uh, double goldfish. I like goldfish. It has a nice booty, and it can uh, it can uh summon of course you don't miss timing you know like with a uh, goblin bird um the only problem is if you can get like hit with like breakthrough skill or fiendish while you know this it won't so yeah uh run two rank ups because this is a rank up deck of course and then the the quick rank up so you target one normal monster you control except numbers and then special summon for except one number okay so you go like attack then play this and and rank up or charge it away yeah classic omega chaos play uh, double Rota, of course, because there's Warriors. Uh, two Lances and two MSTs for the back row hate. That's also good. Dark Hole, sure. Uh, Celestial Factor, I'm still not liking. Not Still not enough for me. As I said, uh, this deck has consistency issues. The monster count is not being counterbalanced by the, the spells and the traps, and I was clearly drawing like ass, so. You know, open up with double these. That's just my luck, so you gotta take that into consideration as well. My luck sucks, so of course I would draw these and not really you'd be able to utilize them. I thought you were running three, but nope, you only run two, and I just happened to draw into them. So yeah, three call the haunted, of course. So call haunted, awesome. Warning, sure. Uh, black form, not a big fan of main decking it, so I'd probably take that out, but sure. Bottomless, sure. Uh, two D presence, drove them to those two, and then two Phoenix China, drove to one. All right, extra deck wise. Um, you got the C guy, I don't know what he does. You, you rank him up off of regular Masquerade, so this is regular Masquerade, which is made with three level four monsters. Uh, during the player's battle phase, when the post monster's effect is activated, you can touch the material and get that, blah, 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 blah. You can, okay, that's not that good. It's not even, that's not even worth it, no. That's not worth it. Um, who are you? You rank up of 102, so near 102. You're three level four lights, okay, so. Even if I went to you, into you, into you, or something like that, couldn't do it because it has to be a uh, full light. So once we're turning, you can attack the from this card and target one face up monster upon controls. Have its attack, and if you do negate its effect, the face up card will be destroyed. You can touch all the and turn its head. You know, that's not worth it either, in my opinion. So no. So yeah, what's your rank up do? Well, what's your rank up do? Uh, this card is special. You can touch one spell trap on the field, destroy that target. As 104, can effect once per turn during either player's turn when a monster effect back on your opponent's side of fake touch my serial to exactly and then you can send one random card for your best hand to if you do have your opponent's select points. That's good. That's good. Okay. So you're not using this, you're only using this for this effect. So that's good. Okay, I get that. Um but if you're not ranking up then it's not that good. Um this what this guy do. This face up card in the field destroy you can touch the experience instead. In the last minute of this card you pick 1500 opponent this card. As this, and once per turn, you can attach your signature from this card to target one face on monster your opponent control, change it, target the attack to zero, and if you do not get the fact. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, of course, 101, you already know you, you're the rank up of this, where you'd attach a whole bunch of mixed materials and uh, uh, target one card on the field and banish the target, so I get that, I get that. Of course, 101, I get you, not only because you're pretty good by yourself, but for that as well. I get you. Um, the only problem is I don't like that you have to detach every single end phase, so that's what sucks. But, you know, at 3, you're unaffected by other card effects, and you're a 3,000 beater that can't be sure on battle, so not bad, not bad. Um, can't be playing this, so, I, you know, let's just go ahead and skip it, because that's not out yet. Um, Delta, of course, the main guy. Only one, though. That's really weird. I'd, I'd probably go with 2 or 3. Omega, of course, Paladomino, Exiton, and Cowboy. Alright. So this is his deck. It has his ups and his downs, but, uh, you know, I learned a couple things from it, so that's good. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. If you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and uh, send me your decks. I will go ahead and put a link in the description. Go ahead and go to that video and go ahead and either comment the, your deck right there or message me your deck or whatever. And uh, you know, you'll go ahead and get featured in the you know, upcoming uh, Daily Duels. I will even you know put your link in the description. You know, and you can go ahead and get a shout out and everything. So I hope that this video was helpful. Helpful. 
Oh my god, I'm 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 a fucking Dragon Ball Z League testing mode. I hope that this video was entertaining. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Mermel.